Hello, how you doing? Not sure if you've heard about this trick yet, but you click in your address bar, you put a dash between the T and the U in your YouTube link, and when you push enter, it goes full screen for you. No suggested ads or anything on the side. When the video's finished, it just loops on through again if it needs to. So pretty amazing trick right there. Now that's the two second tip. So that way you don't have to have ads on your videos. You don't have to have the suggested videos on the side. And your third thing is you don't have to, you know, push your full screen button. So save you a couple of seconds. But I'd also like to tell you how to use this in your Google Slides and in your Google Classroom to make sure it works for you. Now, in Google Slides, we all know how to insert a video, we put the URL, but let's check it out. Let's put that dash in here one more time, and then we'll go ahead and copy this link. So now when we go, we try to insert our URL. If you see, it doesn't work because it doesn't like that new URL. So it's not gonna work embedding your videos where it looks like this, you know, where they're automatically embedded and they can play. So that's not gonna work, but the other two work. So if you just make a link on words, then it's gonna work, it goes full screen for you. If you wanna do it the fancy way and you know link a picture, then you can click on it and that's going to work too. So if you don't know about the other two ways, those two tricks here, all you simply have to do is you highlight a word, you go to your link right here, insert link, and now you're able to paste that in there and that's going to work. Likewise, if you're on a picture, so you have a picture, then you simply do the same thing with your link and apply it there. Now the same rules are gonna be in effect with Google Classroom. So with Google Classroom, usually we add a YouTube video, right? But again, that link is not going to work when we go there. So when we try to push by URL, it doesn't work. If we search a video, it does work. So you could search a video that way. So we could add our video on in right here. Let's go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and click it and see what happens. See? not good we don't want to do it that way right so it just makes a little screen right there so i mean it's true it doesn't have the ads but do you see it just kind of made a little right there so a little bit weird there so maybe we don't want to do it that way either so let's do the same thing that we did in our google slides we're just going to simply add a link because we have that link copied so you could put that big link in there the only downside is it doesn't show the thumbnail of the video but it does show the title of the video here then when we go ahead and save that so you'll see it doesn't show the thumbnail but when a student would click on it just automatically full screen for them it starts playing right when they go in and they're good i guess see you later have a good night Wait a second, but you do see it does pop up those suggested videos at the bottom. Did you see that? So check it out. Hmm. Now when I pause it, they do pop up on the bottom. Hmm. So as you can see, there's no trick that's perfect. So if you were giving your link, you know, with that extra dash in there to your students, they would still have more videos down here, but it does take things off the sidebar for you. So maybe it's a little cleaner if you're showing videos in class. And it does save you the step, like I said, of having to go full screen and students not seeing things on the side. But it looks like they are going to see those videos on the side, on the bottom here. Let's see. Let's see, they just pop up. Hmm. No trick is perfect. See you later. Have a good night.